What's there to be upset about if you're making 35 million bucks? How much? 35 million. Damn. The Bengals' offense failed to score a touchdown for the second consecutive game. I'm Zach Wells here in the Black Hole in Oakland, California. Maybe the most avid fan following in all of pro sports. Former Xavier head coach Sean Miller said that Jordan Crawford had the potential to one day leave Victory Parkway as the most talented guard to ever play in the program. Rain continues to fall here at Great American Ballpark, but if Mother Nature cooperates, Johnny Cueto will take the ball tonight. All year long, Jamel McLean has been that guy who does the dirty work. When he's active, they're better. UC head basketball coach Mick Cronin laid it out like this. If you want to be a contender to win the Big East, you have to be able to recruit the East Coast. And one thing that we can cross off our bucket list is sitting down and talking with a two-time Heisman Trophy winner, the only guy ever to do it. Enough to earn the praises of a guy who knows a thing or two about a script working out just perfectly. I sure don't remember one more dramatic than this that added the ups and downs. What's one thing you want to say to everybody back in Cincinnati? Start the first rap at 10.30. Yeah! Great win for them tonight. Gonzaga's next. Where is that game? It's in Sacramento. Sacramento, California. Did you honeymoon in Sacramento? <laughs> well, it's a lovely place. We don't have time for the story right now, I'm afraid. I'm so, sorry to hear that. <laughs>
At the Stone household in Anderson Township, the crown jewel of Christmas gifts came in an envelope this past December. <laughs> with tickets to Miami to watch UC's first ever trip to the Orange Bowl. I was excited. I was, I was going crazy watching the Bearcats. It was exciting to actually watch them because I haven't been to a Bearcat game in a long time. For Mitch Stone, who proclaims himself the biggest Bearcat fan on the planet. Yeah, it's true. It was a disappointing ending, but the 11 year old was dealing with something else far more painful. Something that would sometimes keep a boy who can run a six minute mile in bed all afternoon. My son is very strong, He's very strong. Like he never complains, almost to a fault. I mean, that he, he was having these horrible, excruciating headaches and he really wasn't complaining. I wasn't really sure, totally sure what it was. I thought it was, wasn't that big of a deal, but it turned out to be a big deal. Doctors used 153 stitches to close the incision from removing a tumor the size of an adult fist from Mitch's brain. That was at the end of February, four and a half months ago, and that's what the headaches were all about. Thing. Okay, you ready? You got a pound? Hard like a rock, right? When he goes out, Mitch needs to wear a mask and gloves to fight off infection. He used to have as much hair as Nick, his identical twin. And while chemotherapy has taken it away for now, Mitch says he won't let cancer take his sense of humor or his spirit, the foundation of his fight. We're confident we, we think happy thoughts, not be down on ourselves all the time. Well, it's been difficult. Uh, there's been some. There's been some tough times. It's. Uh, it's been a hard road, and uh, little Mitch has hung in there uh, stellarly. A grown human being uh, would uh, fold up. Mitch has two older sisters, and of course Nick, his twin. So where'd you see that one? But one thing, this runner and collector of everything from coconut heads to Buddhas to Bob Marley hats and Bart Simpson figures has always wanted was a big brother. And instead of one, on one night, Mitch got more than 100. That is something he will carry with him on a daily basis as he goes through his treatments. He'll, I'm sure he will think about that. I know I will. Mitch walked into a team meeting room at UC to a standing ovation from the Bearcats football team. His favorite one who officially adopted Mitch onto their roster. One by one, each player stood up to introduce himself. I'm Dominique Battle from beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Like yourself, when I was your age, I was a huge Bearcats fan. I just want to thank you for, well, we don't think the whole family for welcoming us into your family. I got four sisters and I'm happy to have a little bro. Brothers in the fight against cancer that's gone for now, but so aggressive that Mitch needs 31 radiation treatments in hopes of keeping it that way. Like they got my back. I know they'll always be there it's for um, the hard times when I'm going to chemo and stuff like that. This is something that books can't teach you and some that coaches and plays can't teach you. This is, this is life and, and it shows that there's a little more out there than just football. The Bearcats and Mitch found each other through the Friends of Jacqueline Foundation named after a little girl named Jacqueline who had a brain tumor and who's doing well now. The Northwestern women's lacrosse team adopted her back in 2005 when Sarah Walsh was a senior on the team that went on to win the first of five straight national championships. So when you guys step out on the field or if you're in the everyday life in the classroom, you know, live in the moment, play in the moment, remember what Mitch is going through, remember who he is and what he is bringing to your life and how blessed you are to have him. UC became the first college football team in the country to complete an adoption that wasn't official until each coach and player made this pledge. Mitch, Mitch from this day forward, from this day forward you, are, you are and always, and always will, be, will be a Bearcat. A Bearcat. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our family. family. With perks that include pretty much an all-access pass, to locker room speeches, practices, sidelines, games, as well as phone calls, texts, hospital visits, and the more than 200 messages that have already shown up on Mitch's computer. Remember, dream big and always stay positive. We hope that we can build the relationship that you can lean on us at any time. 
during your mission. And I think at times, we'll draw inspiration from you. It just made me feel honored, proud to be a Bearcat and be a part of the family. What'd you say? I don't remember. Is your ankle hurt? Huh? Is your ankle hurt? Yours? Mine's fine. How's yours? It hurts. You look good today. Thanks, man. You look like... You, how'd you hurt your ankle? Working like you worked. What's up? Hey, Chad, you want to sign? I get you, I get you when I come back. Watch out, sir, if you hit the car, sir, please. <laughs>